Hello everybody, welcome back to Chris Bosch Props. My name is Chris and today we are going to do a video reviewing this 3D Maker Pro 3D scanner that's supposed to 3D scan medium to small objects. In this video we're going to check it out, we're going to see how well it works and we are going to try to scan this NECA Raphael Ninja Turtle that is an incredible sculpt for a toy and we're gonna see how good this scanner works we're gonna see how good and well it picks up the detail on this toy so without further ado let's get into the video and let's check it out Let's go ahead and open this up. It looks like they sent me, if you could see there, the premium package. We're gonna open this up, see what we got. It looks like it comes in this really nice case here. Alrighty. Here is the moose scanner, which it seems pretty hefty, really cool. Looks like the premium package comes with this USB power turntable or turnstile to help with uh, 3D scanning your items. We have a power block here, a little tripod. Looks like we have all our USB cables. And it looks like a marker top for the turnstile like that so pretty cool looks like it comes with pretty much everything you need I'm gonna get this hooked up to my laptop and let's get scanning all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and get scanning here you can see the LED lights flickering for the frames to capture this Ninja Turtle here and we're gonna try to go ahead and get it in view And then when we get it in view, it says I'm too close, so I need to back up a little bit. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and start scanning. The software we're going to be using is JM Studio. This is the software that's recommended for this Moose 3D scanner. You can see the layout here. It's pretty simple to use. It lets you know uh, whether your field of view is good or not. Right now it says excellent. And then when you kind of get it in view there, you'll go ahead and start scanning. I like to capture at least 300 frames. We're gonna try to get the whole thing. It looks like we're gonna have to get it in two parts. Alrighty. It's a little choppy on my laptop, but it looks like it is capturing the detail there. And we have not lost tracking at all at this moment. It's supposed to have AI visual tracking where you don't need markers. And so far it's living up to that expectation, at least with this small model here. Alrighty, I think we got what we're going to get on this scan. So we're going to let that process the data. That's going to be our first scan. I need to get a scan a little bit lower than the turtle to fill in some of the blanks. And then I'm going to get another scan of the legs and hopefully this software will allow me to align it perfectly and then we can get our STL and start printing. We're gonna get this second scan. We're gonna get a little bit under so hopefully we can pick up his chin. And fill in some of those blanks that it wasn't able to capture on the first go. 
So far, everything looks really good. Okay guys, so we went ahead and got our third scan and this is pretty much when you're done with your scan and after it kind of processes what you did, this is where it sends you. And then we're gonna go ahead and append this to our previous scans here. And now since we have our three scans, you can see this little eyelid here so you can visualize your scan and all the frames that it picked up there. So this isn't processed yet. We're going to go ahead and turn all the eyes on and this is all three of our scans. So you basically, you really have to trust the software in order to align this. I've tried the manual and I've been unsuccessful. I could probably do a little bit more research, but supposedly you can manually align these. I haven't learned it yet. Uh, the auto has been successful for me at this point. Um, we're going to go ahead and try to auto align this and the software should align all three scans and give us one full model. So we're going to go ahead and let it do its magic and let's see how well it does. Okay, so here we go. We have our three scans aligned it's letting us know if it's not satisfactory to try manual alignment but to be honest it looks like it aligned it pretty well at this point we want to process our three scans now that they're aligned and let's see how our model turns out so let's go ahead and do that you go ahead and name uh, whatever it is I'm gonna put TMT RAF for my file because it's gonna save it for me now we are going to go ahead the refinement i'm going to put high so it makes it a little bit higher quality you can also scan it with fine which brings out the detail even more i did i think just normal but to process it i am going to put it on high refinement you could also do your own specs here i haven't messed with that yet but let's go ahead and apply it and let's see how the process turns out all right, so it's all processed and it's asking us if we want to export our process data now. We don't want to quite yet because we might need to remove some artifacts. Uh, so let's go ahead and X that out. And here we go. Here is our RAF 3D model, guys. <laughs> that's not bad. I mean, that's really not bad at all considering it's our first attempt. So we do have some artifacts here, which is no big deal. Uh, you really, I don't even think I need to clean that up. I could just kind of uh, use the Z and the slicer to kind of move it down and then it'll fix that area. But I mean, not bad guys, not bad at all. So let's go ahead and export this out and get it 3D printed. I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the 3D scanner really did the job, guys, on the first try. On the first try, mind you. I did not lose tracking a single time on all three scans. And it picked up the detail. It filled in the gaps really nicely on the processing. I mean, really, really good, guys. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna export this to an STL and I wanna get it printed. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, here is the turtle straight off the print bed. We'll go ahead and remove these supports. Wow.
Look how good the scan came out once it was 3D printed. Uh, it looks incredible, guys. One thing I do want you to notice with the scanner is how good the scale is. So I didn't adjust any of the scale of the model once it was exported. This is straight out of the software and it's identical. So the scale is amazing with this 3D scanner. The resolution is phenomenal for just using the lowest resolution. I didn't even use the fine resolution and you could see the detail here. I mean, uh, it, it's spot on. I think with a paint job, it would look really good. Now, some of the details are soft, but like I said, I did use a lower resolution. So even with that, look how good it looks. Awesome, guys. Very, very happy with how it turned out. So for my final thoughts on the Moose 3D scanner, I have to say it is a pretty cool 3D scanner. It did exactly what it was advertised to do and it did it on the first try, guys. I took three scans and on the first try, it pretty much scanned the turtle exactly what I needed and the software aligned it and it created this awesome 3D model that you see here. So would I recommend the 3D Maker Pro Moose 3D Scanner? The answer is yes, but it really depends on who you are. If you are new into 3D printing and 3D modeling, I would just say have very low expectations because this tool does require a lot of practice and learning how to use it. You might have to invest a couple hours into learning the software, learning how you need to scan it, how far you need to be, the way you need to hold it. It doesn't do all that for you, but if you already have experience, you will be more savvy on learning the software and understanding how to use this tool. So like I said, do I recommend it? Yes, because it did exactly what it advertised to do. And it didn't take me like 50 tries to get this turtle. Like I said, it was the first try on every scan to get it just right. Other than that, it's a 3D scanner and it 3D scans. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it educated you on how to use this, what to expect from it, and what you can get from it. So with that said, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you, and we're on to the next one. <laughs>